There we go. Okay. Perfect. So welcome to our kickoff, Friday Focus, 2023-24. Yay! We are, for many of you, you've already completed your first week of school, or maybe this is the last activity that you have to do this week. Um, and then your first week of school is over. Yay! So we're so glad you're back. So we're kicking off Friday Focus this year. Hopefully we've uh, uh, improved some things over last year, learned some lessons, and um, hopefully we'll bring you some just to some exciting and informative presentations this year. So before I go much further, I'm going to uh, start by, by introducing the team. So I'm going to let each team member talk about themselves and um, Miss Linda Chen, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Linda Chen. I'm the director of high school and pretty much if you meet with me, it might not be a good meeting. I'm just kidding, um, it's totally fine. Um, so I oversee the team and pretty much I graduated from undergrad from UCLA and I got my master's at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. I love traveling, I love nature, I love hiking, backpacking, but most of all, I like trying all the different foods all over the world. So that's primarily why I like to travel. Um, I'm definitely a dog person, like any big fluffy dog, I just want to hug and squeeze, but I actually own two cats and I'm now officially a cat lady. Those are my two cats in, uh, pictured on the slide. That's Oogie and Boogie and Oogie right now is napping on my lap. So that's Definitely a cat lady now. Um, I'm also new to parenthood. So I just, um, I have a daughter and she's one and a half and she's driving me nuts. She's basically my boss. She tells me what to do when I work, when I go to bed. <laughs> um, and also this summer, I spent pretty much the whole summer taking care of Juniper. Again, like I said, she's my boss. So we took her to museums, parks. We had a big camping trip in Big Sur, which was really fun. And there she is just telling us where to go, what to do, and all that jazz. Thanks. So I believe we're going to tag to me next. I think I'm, yes, I am. I'm the next one on the list. My name is Mary Burr. I am the high school counselor for all students, all high school students, whose last names begin with the letters A through F. So if you kind of look um, through my pictures there, uh, the, the assignment for me was to talk about my summer and I really had a laid back quiet summer. So really didn't do much. My husband and I had our 39th wedding anniversary, um, over the summer. So we did go out to dinner and there, and he bought me a corsage. Isn't that sweet? So there is my picture of, of me on our 39th wedding anniversary dinner. I love the St. Louis Cardinal. St. Louis is my home. I do live in California right now. I thought that later when I looked at this. So I live in Yuba City, California, but my home is St. Louis. So I love St. Louis Cardinal, St. Louis Blues, anything to do with St. Louis. So I spent a lot of time this summer watching Cardinal baseball. And my hearts are my two children. So Tony it lives in Chicago. Don't get to see him very often, but um, I will be seeing him in November. We have a family wedding, so I'm excited about that. My son, Tony, in Chicago. And then my daughter, Megan, she lives in St. Louis. And again, I'll get to see her um, in this fall. And um, so you can see the picture of my family there kind of in the center. And you might be wondering, well, who's this fifth person there? Well, my sister-in-law lives with us. So this is my husband's, adopt my husband's family adopted, Daphne. And she has come to live with us. So um, there's Daphne. And the funny thing is, is that she is my sister-in-law. She's my husband's sister. However, she's younger than my own children. So I'm old enough to be her mother, but she's actually my sister-in-law. So, and of course, um, I have my own fur baby. That's Kiva there. If you're looking at the spelling and going, how do you get Kiva out of that? Well, that's Gaelic. So it means princess. So Kiva is our princess in our house. And I am from Missouri. So right in the middle of the country. So there it is. So I'm going to tag Rachel Radican and let her talk next. Hey, hey, Mary, can I interrupt for one second? Absolutely, I, Matt. I just messaged you guys. The, I had a family reach out to me, the Friday focused August, September link, uh, links to something that is in the owner's trash. So they're not able to get in. Oh, would you please send them whatever link it is that um, you are, uh, that you used? I, 
I am sending it. The only one I could find is in the weekly email. So I'm trying to send that one to them right now. So I just wanted to let you know. Sorry. Okay. Nope. That's probably my fault. I updated the flyer and it may have changed some things. So thank you for that. I do see some students entering the waiting room a little late, so they may have had some difficulty with that. The link on the flyer is should be good. So if you look at that flyer, that should get you here. If you can share that with families, that'd be any any of your families. And I appreciate you coming in. Thanks, Matt. All right. A little delay there. Sorry, guys. First day, first presentation jitters here. So I'm going to tag. Rachel, you're up. All right. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Rachel Radican, and I work with students with the last names that are G through O. So Mary coined um, for my students that you will go to Rachel so that can help um, remind you of if your name falls within that range, then I'm your counselor. So um, I had a pretty um, stay at home summer this summer, but we did do a couple things. Um, so my husband is a huge baseball fan. My kids all played baseball. And so um, we decided to go see an Oakland A's baseball game this summer because it might be one of the last times that they are at the Coliseum. Um, and so we decided to go there. So the picture in the middle is my uh, whole family there at the A's game. They were playing the um, Arizona Diamondbacks. And so my daughter, of course, had to root for the Arizona Diamondbacks and ended up getting a picture, a selfie picture with their starting shortstop. So that was pretty fun. Um, and then they DM'd like the whole drive home. So that was kind of interesting too. <laughs> so you never know when you might meet someone famous. <laughs> um, so speaking of that, I have three kids. Um, Sawyer is my oldest. He just turned 22. Um, he is, um, let's see, he's the one in the white hat. And then Carver is my middle son and he is, um, 20 and he's in the A's jacket and hat and then kind of the, the purple shirt to the right or to the um, left there of my daughter. And then my daughter's name is Winter. She is 18 um, and she just graduated high school. So that's the one picture that's up there as well. Um, and then I love, love, love Lake Tahoe. Um, it's not too far from where I live, um, depending on if you're North Shore or South Shore, about an hour. Um, and I took my mom, she turned 70 this summer. So for her birthday, I took her uh, to North Shore Tahoe for a few days. So that was my summer. I'm looking forward to working with you guys. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. So Rachel, I just have to ask, was winter born in the winter? She was, she was, her birthday's February. Um, and at that time of year, it was, it was the dead of winter when she was born. So <laughs> she does, she does accurately represent her name. <laughs> her name does ac accurately represent when she was born. Beautiful pictures, beautiful family. Thanks. Thank so you. next is going to be Michelle Bliss. Michelle. Hello. Hi, I am the high school counselor and I am last name's key to Z. So somebody at some point said, what was it, Mary? Easy peasy. There so is. there you go. Easy peasy for Michelle Bliss. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I loved college, so I could have been like a permanent student and that would have been fabulous. I did play volleyball, which was exciting and fun. Um, I worked, I've been working in high school for the last 18 years. So high schoolers uh, are, are kind of my thing. I like to work with high schoolers and I love my job and I love working with my family. So that's a little bit about me. And then we talked about like, let's say what we did this summer. So this is me this summer. I love my summers a lot. So I had a lot of fun, a lot of things that kept me busy. So first of all, my whole family got to get together for a family wedding. And so that top picture is, is my family. My son, he is 24 and he lives in Montana. And he did bring his girlfriend, Emmy, who is there beside him in the orange. Uh, so we got to meet her and that was a lot of fun. And then my daughter is the other side in the blue. Uh, she just recently moved home from Texas, but we all got to be together for that uh, wedding, which was a lot of fun. Uh, and then the moose over there in Alaska, I got to spend almost three weeks in Alaska. My mom and dad live there. So this is literally on the patio of my mom's house. I was sitting on the patio and up walks a moose and her two babies, which was, 
I'm glad I was upstairs on the upstairs patio. Um, and I just took a picture right down from my mom's patio. So that was, that was super fun. And I love Alaska. They've lived there about 25 years. So I've been going there almost every summer for at least a short amount of time in the summer. Um, the other thing we did super exciting this summer is uh, we bought a new boat. So every moment that we can be on our boat, we are on our boat. So we had a boat, we had an older boat and we'd had that boat for like 16 years. And so our family loves our boat and we love our time on our boat. And so now we have a new boat, yay. Um, and then we did get a little addition. So when my daughter came home from Texas to come back home, um, we got her a little friend named Jack. So we added Jack to our family and we are not a small dog family, nor are we in the house family. Like we don't let our dogs in the house, nor do we have small dogs. So this is something very new for our family. And I have to say, we all love little Jack. He's four and he's a Yorkie and he, we just adopted him about two months ago and he and my daughter are inseparable. So that's kind of fun. So that's a little bit about me. <laughs> Oh, absolutely adorable. And tell me, what lake do you boat on, Miss Michelle? So we, we have been, because Folsom Lake is so high right now, we've been going to Folsom quite a bit. Uh, the lake um, that we really love is uh, Union Valley Reservoir up above Georgetown, because that's where we live. Yay. So <laughs> we love to go there. My kids have spent most of their birthdays, in, or not Carissa, it snows at her birthday, but our son has spent a lot of his birthdays on the lake up at Union Valley Camping. Beautiful. Well, I bet there are a lot of people listening, too, that, um, that do go uh, boating on on all those lakes. So yes. before I go to the next member, um, I was going to ask students if you know how to raise your hand. Um, you know, you know, in the in your picture, I think it's the reactions, and you raise your hand. So um, just a show of hands now. How many of you watching have last names that are A through F, and I'm your counselor? How many, raise your hands. Oh, I see some hands, that's exciting. Some students of mine are here. Okay, terrific. Okay, now put your hands down. Okay, and now um, G through O, that's Miss Rachel Radican. How many of you, raise your hands. How many of you have Miss Rachel as your counselor? Raise your hand. Yay! Isn't that exciting, Rachel, to see the hands go up? Yes, it's super cool. Terrific. Oh, now, okay, now put your hands down and P through Z, Miss Michelle's uh, counselees. How many of you have Miss Michelle as your counselor? Raise your hands. There you go. Look at that. Yay. I love seeing the hands go up. Terrific. Thank you, guys. Um, if I if you came in uh, and missed the beginning, no worries. You didn't miss much. But I do want to tell you to make sure that you have your uh, screen, your picture named because we are going to be have a, a after the next person speaks, we're going to be having a spin the wheel drawing. So we want to make sure we have all of your names. So um, put your name in in the uh, so that we can see it on your screen. And yeah, and we'll be glad to do that. So without further ado, let me go to our next and last but not least, definitely one of the more important members of our team, Miss Reese Perez is going to speak. Reese, take it away. Thanks, Mary. Oh. Oops. Okay. So I am the HST and or I'm an HST and I'm also a the curriculum and uh, CTE coordinator for Sequoia Grove. So I handle um, all of the curriculum questions that people have and I also um, help facilitate the CTE. And uh, just to kind of get to know me a little bit, um, the top two pictures on the far left are my absolute bestest friends in the whole world. Um, we have this little posse of five of us. And uh, this summer, three of the five of us went to Mexico together. Um, we brought our whole entire families and it was just, um, and we were just stomping through Mexico in a giant board. It was very fun. Uh, and then if we go left from there, um, oh, well, okay. So I guess, I guess my little bullet points are out of order here. So if we go straight down, um, that's my family. Um, I'm happily married and I have two children. My daughter just started high school like two days ago and uh, my son is in eighth grade. 
And uh, if we're going back up to the top, my fur babies, Phoenix, my Doberman, and Nacho, my ridiculous bull terrier. <laughs> um, they are really, truly the light of my life, though. They are so much fun. And then um, my soccer team. So I've coached the same girls soccer team competitively for six years. Um, we won state cup last year, and this was just a picture from over the summer with a tournament that we won. And, uh, last but not least, this picture was taken in England about a week ago. I had the opportunity to go to Oxford to a symposium. So, um, I went and it was amazing. So that's me in a nutshell. That is pretty awesome. So there are some questions for you, Miss Reese in the chat. You can take care of those. So um, no worries. Those of you who say, uh, I see in the chat, some of you are coming in saying, sorry, you're late. No worries. I know there were some technical issues. Thank you for joining us. We're so glad you're here. Um, and we are about to have a drawing. So I want you to make sure that your name is on this, on your picture, um, you know, so that we can read your name uh, so that we can enter you in the drawing. We're going to spin the wheel in just a minute. So, Miss Michelle, I'm going to turn it over to you. But before I do, I want to make sure every is everybody's name. Do you have everybody's name captured? I do. Every, uh, yes, I do. So if they're changing their name right now, then they might be in trouble because I had the name that they had on there. So, <laughs> um, okay. yeah. So let me share. I'm going to share my screen. Right. So did you okay. stop the recording? Mary? Oh, thank you. I, I almost forgot that. I'm going to pause the recording so that we don't have any personal names said. So pause. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. There we go. I'm sorry. I thought I clicked that and I thought I heard something, but I didn't. So let me go back just a little bit just for those because many people are going to be accessing this later. So we had a drawing, we had a prize, and now we're back to our programming. So the question is, why? Why Friday Focus? Why do we think it's important for you to come spend an hour with us? Well, maybe an hour. It might be 45 minutes. It might be a half hour. Who knows? Um, but why is it important for you to come? Why? You've got things to do. You've got life to be lived, people to see, places to go. So why should you spend an hour or so with us every Friday? Well, we have some ideas. So the first one is... You don't know what you don't know. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I don't know what I don't know. Think about that for a minute. If I knew it, well, then I would know it. I don't know it. And I don't know what I don't know. So we may be telling you things about, oh, maybe the ability to take a college class in high school and get credit in high school and in college. And you may not have ever known that that was an option for you. So you don't know what you don't know. So come and come up with us every Friday. And if you have to miss, most of our record, most of our presentations will be recorded and on our YouTube channel. So you can check that out. Um, but come spend some time with us. And maybe it'll be a day we have prizes. We probably won't have them every week, but we might have them. Who knows? So you don't know what you don't know. It's not your fault. So we're here to share some things with you and maybe, well, actually, I'm going to guarantee. Counselors, do you think I can guarantee that by the end of the school year, through all the Friday focuses, they will have learned at least one thing that they didn't know before? You think that's true? OK. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Okay. I'm getting thumbs up. <laughs> so, yeah. All yeah. right. The next thing I want to say is you can just show up. Right. You don't have to prepare anything. The teacher is not going to call on you and say, OK, did you read chapter so and so? I need you to present in front of all these people. No, you can just show up. You can participate. You can have your screen on your picture, your camera on. You can have it off. You can ask questions. You can just sit and listen. You can do whatever, whatever you want. Well, please don't, you know, all of a sudden just start shouting out in the middle of the presentation. So not anything you want. But for the most part, you can just sit there and listen, participate as much or as little as you want, okay? No responsibility on your part to have anything prepared, okay? The next thing is that you can strengthen your executive functioning skills. I don't know, um, show of hands, how many of you have heard the term executive functioning skills before? Oh my goodness, we might have an opportunity here to tell you the first thing that you didn't know you didn't know. 
Okay. Counselors, I'm going to kind of put you on the spot. And by counselors, I mean team. I'm going to put you on the spot. Does anybody want to talk a little bit about executive functioning skills and some of the ones that they'll be strengthening when they're um, tuning in every week? Oh, don't you all talk at once now. <laughs> Well, I could talk about the first one. So commitment. So just committing to something, I think that that is a great skill to have to show that you're committed to doing something each week or maybe each semester or however you want to have a commitment. When you when you start making commitments to things, that shows a lot of um, leadership. It's a, it's a strength to be committed to something and follow through with it, uh, to have that. I can keep going through the responsibility uh, that you know that, okay, on Friday, it's it's kind of a responsibility to be there and to learn, to know, to find out what I didn't know I didn't know. Uh, so that that having that just kind of responsibility to hold yourself accountable and to be responsible to come and learn new things. And, and also that, that hits on the organization of it as well, that you know on your calendar at one o'clock, you have this, this meeting that you could come and you can learn and you can better your knowledge and, and better your opportunities. So those are all really great skills to have. And uh, that's one of the reasons uh, to be coming to Friday Focus each and every time. Uh, sometimes you'll come and you'll think, oh, I kind of know all of this, but you know, there might be something said that you didn't know. Um, or something said that, wow, that really reiterates what I need to be learning right now. And that helps me with my organizational skills or, oh, wow, that really helped me learn how to be more responsible. So uh, that's kind of the idea about coming each and every time it shows those, those skills that you might have. And I want to piggyback on that and give a shout out to those of you that came in late because you had to problem solve and find out why the link wasn't working or why your um, audio wasn't working and just that you were able to not just be like, oh, it's not working, I'm not gonna go, but that you problem solved and you continued um, to show that responsibility and commitment by um, troubleshooting and logging in. So we appreciate you doing that and you're already working on some of those um, topics under strengthening your executive functioning. So I'm wondering, uh, Mary, since a lot of people are asking about the link and couldn't find the link, um, I just want to, if you don't mind, I'm going to share my screen real quick and show them the counselor's website because everybody should have access to the counselor's website. It is always uh, linked at the bottom of any email that you get from your counselors. So Mary, do you see my counseling website or the counseling website up on my screen? Is it being shared? I might need to stop sharing. I, I can see it. It is being shared. I can see it. Okay. okay, good. So that's the counseling website. And just so you guys know, there, there's some flyers here. Here's the Friday Focus flyers. Just at a glance, these are not clickable. They're just at a glance. But see how there's the number three there next to the high school focus on your future? So that's a place to find. I know these links are found at a lot of different places. They're in the Sequoia Scoop. They're you know, in your uh, newsletter for your school, the homeschool helper. But this is an easy place to find it. So that's number three. I'm going to go right down here to corresponding number three. Um, and we're going to update these flyers as the month goes by. So when you click on August and September, here's the flyer and it pops right up. And then you click on this Zoom link. And I did just try it and the Zoom link goes right to this Zoom meeting. So that's a good way to just kind of get some information. And then this will have the flyer has all of the different dates. Um, and and things. So anyway, I just thought since those were a lot of questions in the uh, chat that we might just kind of show you exactly how to get to that. Yeah, so absolutely. question. Yeah, yeah go, ahead. go ahead. Um, I'm not going to say your name just to keep it private, but okay. Yeah. Um, when I clicked on that link, it said that the file was in the owner's trash. So that's why I got on the Remind app and got the. Oh. Thanks. So it doesn't yeah, work for us. Thank you for showing your resilience <laughs> and problem solving yes. skills because you really found your way into this room. Um, we're going to work on those links and we'll update it for, for next week. But I did pop the Zoom link into the chat. So if you want to show up next week, we have that in um, the chat as well and the counselor website, but we'll get all those results. I know there was an issue with the link. Thank you so much for letting us all know though. We'll definitely get it fixed. 
So great. So those executive functioning skills, perfect. So um, my last one came in <laughs> while I was playing around with making sure it was recording. My last point came in, point number four, I did have an animation on it so that it would fly in. So just pretend it did. The fourth reason is it's portable. You don't have to be sitting in your room at your computer. So make it your lunch date friend on Friday afternoons or take it on the go with you if you're doing some kind of Friday afternoon adventure. You can watch on your phone. You can watch on your Chromebook. Um, you can, and you can, again, participate as much or as little as you want, but it's not something Friday focus is not something that you have to be, you know, sitting down class ready for, for this particular presentation. Okay. So those are some reasons that, that I could think of when I was just kind of brainstorming with myself and with my counseling colleagues, but, um, team, any other reasons why? When I say, why should they come? When they say, gosh, I've got so much to do. Why should I go to Friday Focus right now? Do you have anything you want to add about why a person should come? Uh, I might be biased, but I think we're a great group of high school people. <laughs> so we have a lot of expertise in this room. So even if you just show up, um, you don't have to come to every single one, but every week will be a different topic that will help you figure out your college and career goals. And even if you're just a little interested in the topic, just show up. You never know what you're going to, you never know what you're going to take away. And honestly, you can always ask your questions specific to you. And we're here to help you pretty much figure out the next few years in high school. And also after high school, we're here to plan for that. And you're going to, I can tell you, Miss Reese has a career conversation series that I love. She invites different people from all different backgrounds to kind of interview. So we've had an author, um, come and interview and talk about how you get started writing a book. We've even had the social media manager for the Sacramento Kings. He did promise us a field trip. So we're trying to arrange that now for the kids who did attend that. So you never know what will happen. Yes, I do remember that you were there. Um, so we're trying to get that all worked out. Um, so you never know what's going to happen at a Friday Focus. So I always say just pop in and say hi if you have that time. Also, there could be something that's presented that maybe you don't feel is as applicable to you at that point in time, but it could be something down the road that becomes applicable and you're like, oh yeah, I remember I went to a Friday Focus that talked about ABC. So you never know when what we discuss might be um, something that is really up your alley or something you become interested in or something you needed to know, or it at least gives you a frame of reference to come back to that you can ask questions about remember that one time we talked about this or I'd like to know more about that and then that we can provide that for you. Yeah, and the other thing too I loved somebody said I think it might have been you Rachel but that said I know a lot about NCAA and and the sports in college and that kind of thing about playing sports in college but we had a couple of guest speakers come and talk about college sports and not just NCAA, but other options to play sports in college. And I think it was Rachel, but one of our teams said, I, I didn't know some of that. Like, I thought I knew a lot and I didn't know some of what your guest speakers said. So I, I think if, if maybe I was a student and I saw NCAA or sports, I'd have been like, oh no, I know everything about that. So I don't need to come. But it was neat to like come and, and learn new things, even when you thought you knew it all in that subject area. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to call on, and I don't want to say a name just because we're recording this and we're trying to respect your privacy, but the young lady who unmuted earlier, I think you know who I'm talking to, um, you uh, unmuted earlier and, 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 and spoke. I would like you to tell, because you are a regular. You are a regular, you come every week. So tell me why you make it a point to come every week. You're smiling at me, so I know you know who I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess I come every week because I'm trying to find out what I want to do. Because I'm in 10th grade and I want to find out like what I want to do when I'm in college or after that, like a different careers. So I like different habits I can make too um what you guys teach so yeah 
Thank you so much for that. After I just get finished saying, you don't have anything to prepare. You don't have to do anything. Here I call on her. I promise I won't do that very often. And she Thanks. knows we go. Yeah, I was gonna say we go back. So she knows I put her on the spot every now and then. So and I finally you. met you at prom, so it's fine. <laughs> That's right, we did. Speaking of, you guys will have the opportunity to go to prom. All you high schoolers will have the opportunity to go to prom this spring. And I hear we've hired the DJ already for the harvest dance in the fall. Yep. So I don't have the date yet, but we'll be having a harvest dance in the fall. So I've been kind of just uh, stretching things out a little bit because we're going to have, you guessed it, another spin the wheel. So there's an opportunity for somebody else to win a $5 Chick-fil-A gift card. So um, Michelle, let me pause recording and make sure that I do it. If you're watching this later on our YouTube channel, we'll be right back. Okay. Terrific. Okay. So we just got back from having another spin the wheel prize winner. Yay to our winner. So we're going to go on uh, next. And um, we just want to talk a little bit about what's, whoops, we're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up. We're going to give you a preview of upcoming attractions. Okay. So some of the things that we're going to be talking about um, is how to graduate okay how to graduate did you know that you have several choices about how you want to graduate from high school you do so we're going to be talking about uh the maybe the fastest is not the best word i should have used maybe it's the best for your particular goals um to finish high school so that you could um some of you just say hey i just want to do what the the bare minimum just what i need to do to get that diploma Great, we can help you with that. Some of you are saying, I really have my sights set on a four-year college, uh, a very highly selective one. I wanna make sure I have a good foundation and I have completed all the requirements that are necessary. So we're gonna have a presentation just talking about those different paths to graduation and, and how best that um, you can get there and accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. So I'm gonna take a, a little peek at what's coming up. So. Um, Miss Michelle, I'm going to call yeah. on you to do the next one, and I'm going to give you, I'm going to click so you can see what the topic is. You want to talk a little bit about that, about some of the presentations we have coming up based on that? Yes, absolutely. So, uh, so yes, what do you want to be when you grow up? So I know that a lot of people ask that question all the time, especially when you become like a junior or senior. Well, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? And you just kind of feel inundated with that question. So there are a lot of resources that we're going to kind of go over. There's different things that you can do to maybe grow your knowledge skill and in, in what's available to you. Uh, we, we will go over what's called the um, college. What is it? Uh, California college dot or, California colleges dot org and we talk about that and they have an interest profiler and you can get onto that interest profiler and take all these uh, qu answer all these questions in an assessment and then through that it kind of spits out some degrees or some careers that you might be interested in based on your skills or based on things that you like. Uh, the other thing is Reese's Amazing Career Conversations. So maybe somebody comes in and talks about a career and you had no idea that it was awesome and you love to listen to that person talk and that kind of forces you that way because because you really are interested in that. We had one of our HSTs that I met with years ago and her daughter and her met with me and I told them about you know that interest inventory and kind of go through that and see if anything pops up that looks fun. And within an hour, they messaged me back and said, oh my word, she's totally interested in like forensic science. And then all of a sudden she's taking a dual enrollment class at the college or concurrent enrollment class at the college in forensic science. So uh, it is fun to just kind of figure out what you want to be when you grow up. You've got all this time in high school to kind of figure that out. We have classes that we can give you credits for figuring that out. It's called academic planning. It's all about research about you. So you can spend all the time researching and researching colleges and interviewing people and you get credits. You get high school credits for that. And we've, we've called that course academic planning. Uh, so that's a good way to answer that question then when somebody asks it, what do you want to be when you grow up? 
Thanks, Michelle. I was hoping to give people just a, a little break from hearing my voice over and over again. So thanks for doing that. And I'm going to put Miss Linda on the spot for the next one. I'm going to give her just a second to kind of, she's probably peeking at it already. So I'm going to give her a second to do that. But just the, again, we're talking about preview of coming attractions. These are some things, some presentations that we've got kind of in the rotation coming up. So talking about graduation, talking about how you can figure out what you want to be when you grow up. And the next one is going to be Miss Linda, take it away. If you wish. Okay, so the next one, we're going to actually have a few Friday focuses on the road. That means instead of virtual, we're going to be in person. Um, and we're going to try to set field trip opportunities up for students who are interested in meeting the counselors in person to let them know that we're actually real people. Um, and we're pretty much going to try to visit industry sites. So um, give you an idea of what it's like to actually work on the job, um, and get the kind of like the behind the scenes scoop on some of those places. And we're also going to visit some community college campuses and try to uh, give you a tour and let you get a feel for what it's like to be in college. I know we're just getting into high school for some of you, just starting ninth grade, but we really want to help kind of help you figure out what you want to do afterwards. Um, and it, you know, we have experts here, so we're going to be here to hold your hand through the whole process. It's scary. I promise you, you might change your mind of what you want to do later on, even though you figure it out in high school, sometimes that changes. And we're here to kind of guide you through all of that and give you the tools to kind of really navigate all of that. Terrific. Thank you, Miss Linda. And um, Miss Reese, I'm going to put you on the spot to talk next. I think Michelle kind of um, gave a little bit of a preview about what you're going to talk about, but why don't you take it away? Because I know you're passionate about this. All right. This is uh, something that we started several years ago. Career Conversations just invites industry professionals from A to Z to come hang out with us in chat and tell us about what their career looks like and um, why they chose it and uh encourages anybody who might have those same inclinations to follow that path. Um, they're there to ask questions at the end um, and they offer amazing insights as well as some really um, amazing life lessons as well. Things that they maybe, you know, found out the hard way that maybe can prevent you from having to do the same thing down the road. Um, but so far, we've kind of talked to um, firefighters and authors. We've talked to doctors and um, digital media specialists. We've talked to photographers. Um, this year, I'm hoping that we can interview a teacher. And I'm hoping that we can also talk to a psychologist. Um, those are just some things to hopefully come this year. Um, but I'm, I'm really super excited. If you guys have super cool ideas, of things that you are interested in, drop those into the chat for me and I will write them down right now and I will get on that for us, okay? So if, because if you have something that you're super duper into, I would rather do something that you guys actually want to hear about than, you know, just taking a guess at it. So let me know. Mary I've been looking through the... <laughs> the chat has been popping off and some of the suggestions are hilarious. Um, one of our students does want to be a fire truck though. So you're going to have to figure out how they can be like the voice actor for a transformer. Maybe I think that might be, I think it might be a firefighter, but I mean, maybe I, we could always have a firefighter back on, but oh, no, 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 exactly sorry. How he wants to be the fire truck. We're going to have to figure that career conversation out this, this semester, Reese. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yes. That'd be awesome to be the fire truck. Yeah. I could see that in, in cars you know, in the in one of those movies. Yep. So, and also Miss Reese, I mean, they can also put the, in the chat, but we're also going to give you the opportunity to do an exit ticket at the end. And the exit ticket is really easy. Don't worry. It's not going to be something like an, uh, like an academic, you know, write a paragraph or anything like that. We're just going to ask for some ideas. We're going to ask if what you heard was um, helpful. We're going to ask if you have any ideas for us. And if you have any ideas for people in certain careers that you'd be interested in, make sure you enter that. And Reese, Miss Reese will have access to that and be able to look up. I'm going to tell you graphic design because I've had a couple students um, express interest in graphic design, Miss Reese. So that would be awesome. Okay. So we are coming to the end of our time together, um, which is great. So let me just kind of rehash 
what we did. Somebody told me when I first got into education that doing a lesson plan is really easy. You tell the students what you're going to teach them, you teach them, and then you tell them what you taught them. And that's a lesson plan right there. So we told you we were going to talk a little bit about um, who we are. And we did that. We we're going to uh, talk a little bit about the why, why we uh, would love for you to join us every Friday. And then we were also going to give you an idea about uh, what was to come. So hopefully we've accomplished our goals here. And so we have a final activity. And I am so excited about this. Miss Rachel is going to have a little bit of a Kahoot game for us. And again, there is a chance to win a prize. And this prize, you can't really see it, a $10 Amazon gift card. So the lucky winner will get a $10 Amazon gift card today. So I've got a pause recording. And in case you're wondering, we do that because we're trying to protect your identities. So while the recording's paused, we might be able to say your name or something when we're here. But um, we're doing it for your privacy, okay? So let me pause recording. Um, Their input. All right, so we're back to recording and we just want to say, um, well, thank you, of course, but I just kind of, I want to say join us next week, but I want to put the exit ticket into the chat so that you can complete the uh, exit questionnaire, which is really going to be, I very easy. Oops, I sent I sent that instead of to everyone. I sent it to Reese, who doesn't need it. There we go. Exit ticket should be in the chat. So please uh, take some time, take a minute to to do the exit ticket and come back again next week. We're going to be talking about choose your own adventure. I love those books when I was reading them to my kids. They get to choose and turn to whatever page. We're going to do choose your own adventure as it relates to high school curriculum. Did you know you have choices? You don't just have to do one particular curriculum. You can choose, you can mix and match. There's lots of options. We're also gonna be talking about course outlines. Some of you have, um, it, some of you use course outlines to meet certain requirements. We're gonna talk a little bit about that too next week. So please come back. I am so happy that you are with us today. And um, please take a moment to do that exit ticket. Team, do you have anything else that you wanna say? I think uh, Miss Juniper is waving goodbye to us. So thank you all for joining us. I'm going to stop recording. 